Hi, Dave Taylor here again, and this time I want to talk about this device. This is an Amazon Fire phone. Now, the sad news is I hear from industry sources that it, they're really not selling very well, which is too bad because Amazon's done some really cool things with this device. One of which is they actually set the price incredibly cheap with a two-year AT&T contract, and this is only an AT&T phone, it's 99 cents. So this is a 99 cent phone. Now, when they introduced it, it was considerably more expensive, but I think Amazon realized, hmm, we're competing with the big guys, with the Samsungs and the Apples, and we need to rethink our pricing. So the 99 cent is relatively new. But what makes this interesting is that it has a couple of core technologies that I haven't seen in any other mobile devices. The most interesting of which is they have something called dynamic perspective. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to show you this actually on the camera. Let's get this thing turned on. But um, the idea of dynamic perspective is, you know, see if you can see that. Yeah, I don't think it'll work on a camera, but it's sort of the way a lenticular photo works. So if you've seen those posters where as you walk past, it changes the image. And that's done by having sort of multiple tiny strips. Now this obviously works differently, but it's a really exaggerated 3D. And it, there's a couple of games that they've gotten developed for this, but even just the screensavers tend to be really cool. Um, it is, in fact, an Android phone, but like a Kindle, it actually has its own version of, of Android. And in fact, the interface, the experience of using this is very much like using a Kindle. So they have the carousel and you swipe past. Um, so, so that's kind of cool, but at the same time, if you are just a general Android phone user, it might be a little frustrating that you have to go through the Amazon experience instead. Mm, Trade-offs. Um, another thing that's really interesting is they have what they call Firefly technology. And this is sort of the ultimate capitalist tool. Basically, it's like a, a camera app where every time you take a photo, it tries to analyze what's in this picture. Could you buy this? Here it is. Hey, you can just buy it with one click on Amazon. So if you're at the bookstore, if you're at a friend's house, if you're at a, um, a party, you see something you like, a video, a book, even products in the kitchen. You can just literally just scan it with the Firefly technology and boom, it'll say, here you go, here it is for sale. Do you wanna buy it? So that's actually pretty cool. Um, is it life or death? Is it something that makes this uh, you know, valuable as a phone? Eh, you know, in reality, most of us don't actually buy that much stuff. So it feels a little gimmicky. Now, the third thing that they actually have as their you know, prime um, signature features is they have something called Mayday. And Mayday is actually really cool. And they also have it on the Kindles. The idea is it's a one button, you tap on it, and then someone at Amazon Central actually is there live in a little tiny video window. And I can't really show you much of this. I'll try to get some footage to slice in, but it's really hard to do that because the phone screen's pretty small compared to the camera. So I apologize for this, but um, Mayday is interesting because it's a live chat with an actual human being and they can see your phone screen. So they can actually go and they can say, oh, you're in the wrong app. So quit that app. There you go. Okay, now you're in the right app. Now tap on that little button on the lower left. There you go. Hope that was helpful. And that's really neat because a lot of people, you know, for all that we talk about how these smartphones are all so well designed, the fact is, is a lot of them are really ridiculously complicated. And I know I get tons of questions about how to do this on my iPhone, how to do that on my Samsung, how to do this on my HTC. So having live support is actually a pretty slick idea. Now, one of the other things you get with the phone is you get one year of Amazon Prime. So if you're not an Amazon Prime member, then you're probably not hardcore like I am. Um, but Amazon Prime, one of the big things it gets you is it gets you really good shipping. So you get two day shipping for free every time you buy something. But it also gives you access to the Amazon Video live stream. Um, they call it Prime Instant Video. Um, there's Prime Music, which has like some, I don't know, million songs or something. And there's also a Kindle lending library, which is kind of interesting. So if you're a Prime member, there's over half a million books that you can download and read for free in your Kindle app. So that's pretty slick. And here's another one that's 
kind of cool. With this phone, when you register it with Amazon, then you actually get free unlimited photo storage on their cloud server. So if you are a complete camera nut, then that's a nice feature. Me, eh, I kind of like to delete the bad pictures, <laughs> but you might be different. Anyway, that's the deal. And so this is the Kindle Fire phone. Like I said, it's 99 cents if you get a two-year contract on AT&T or you're eligible for an upgrade. Um, otherwise, this is a $449 device if you don't want it with any contract at all. Um, there's a lot I really like about it. But just like with things like the BlackBerry, it's really hard to be off the main track. And there are really two primary paths that people are taking with smartphones, and that is the iOS, Apple, iPhone world, and there's the Android world, but they tend to be stock Android phones like Samsung, of course, with its very good selling Galaxy line. So having something like this, it is Android based, but it's a very Amazon experience. And the features that they have, I don't know that they really justify getting something that no one else in your neighborhood is going to have. And because then you get into things like all the accessories and peripherals, getting cases, you know, um, speakers where you can dock it directly, all that sort of stuff. It's just hard. I mean, it's hard to not be in one of those two major systems. So I like it, but honestly, I wouldn't have one. So you might look at differently, go into an AT&T store and check it out because the especially, I have to say, the whole dynamic perspective thing is really cool. It's really quite striking when you try it for yourself. Is it enough to make you get this phone? That's something you'll have to decide for yourself. So this is Dave Taylor and I'll see you in my next video.